say something awesome. You know that the days when they initiated the Mishkan, nobody died. How much for real? Nobody died. And when Shlomo Melech initiated the Holy Temple, I don't know for how many days, for how many weeks, nobody died. And here's the most unbelievable story. You know, when Rameh Shapiro, when he opened his yeshiva in Lublin, was a Prague, I think it was maybe 28 or 29, opened the yeshiva the first time in the history that the yeshiva and Mamash had a beautiful building. Mm-hmm. You know, in those days, never yeshiva would sit in, in, in a little bit of and and, and, and never, they had one piece of bread uh, and would eat take, Mamash broken. Then he says, why should university students live in, in decent house? Why shouldn't have a learn Gemara? <coughs> anyway, it's a long, long story. He initiated the altar the yeshiva, and all the rabbis came to the opening. And the craziest thing is, and the short giver was in Dublin for two weeks. And all, because he was his rabbi, the heilige short giver. And... Uh, those two weeks, nobody died in all of the plane. Not even going. Nobody died. It was almost like the opening of the, the Holy Temple. Yeah. Because it's a whole long story. Rameh Shapiro was begging the Chotkiva if he stay a little bit longer, you know? Because Mamish in Yuschus, nobody. Unbelievable. Shalom, do you mean like. When when the Mishkan and the Ben Hamidash were initiated, and not going to die. Me when it was being built, and when it was ready to be done. No, but it was initiated. So, so I, I, I'm, I'm, why not remember it was two weeks or seven days? Two weeks and seven days? No, or seven days or two weeks, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah.